So, recently I painted my very first mural and it was quite of a big job, a lot bigger of a job than I expected, but it was very rewarding. And yeah, in this video I'll show you what exactly I did. Welcome back people, this is Star Creates. My name is Josh Adele. I'm an artist. And in this video I'm gonna show you how I turned this into this yeah no i'm not showing you yet because you have to actually watch the video to see what i actually painted but anyway it will be cool so let's just get into it in the backyard of my flat in scotland there is a old door paint was peeling off and nobody seemed to use it and we had made this lovely little backyard and we thought it'd be a nice idea to do something with the door painted couldn't get any worse and could only get better so i decided i'd use it as an opportunity to paint my very first mural I sat down at first, uh, as always, to gather ideas because I had no idea what actually to paint on this and I quite liked on Pinterest I found a bunch of like isometric designs of scenes of people having a good time essentially, just, um, I don't know, listening to music, listening to a DJ set or something. I thought that would be a great opportunity so, so, to sort of show a view of our building with uh, just, yeah, a bunch of people having a good time in the backyard and through the windows and all that sort of thing. So as, I, as you can see, I went on to procreate and desi design just that. From there on I thought, okay, it might take a day to prepare the door for the painting and maybe paint the background and then uh, another day to paint the entire thing. Um, but no, of course, life is not that easy. It took three days alone to take the old paint off um, the door, because as I said, it was like peeling off and I thought it'd be quite easy with just like a, what do you call it, spatula to like take it off and that. No, nope, it took a long, long time, a lot of work. Uh, luckily I had one of my flatmates there to help me with it as well. So it went a little bit quicker, but um, yeah, a lot more work than I thought. After that, we also sanded it down and then I also decided to sort of put a black frame of black paint around the very edges of the wall because I didn't want to quite paint to the, the very edge first of all because spray paints I feared if I spray painted it it would go into the creases between the door and the wall or the door and the frame uh, and might clog it up or something get stuck there so I didn't want to mess with that and also because uh, the door, especially in the bottom, had gotten quite a lot of sunlight and quite a lot of rain that had dried and that. The material was quite coming loose, like it had rotten and dried again. So I didn't want to mess with the very bottom uh, painting there. So as you can see here, I painted a bit of a black frame around the outsides and then went in with spray paints to paint the very first layer of the background. That also uh, caused more trouble than I was expecting because all the uh, projects that I've done so far with spray paints were smaller, I painted a skateboard, I sprayed a hat, I maybe sprayed a background for something here and there, but no nothing as large as this door that I'm painting on here. The spray cans didn't last nearly as long as I thought. Uh, I did go in wanting to do a sort of gradient because the, the I ran out of spray paint fast, I was forced to do the gradient a little bit differently than I wanted. And I'm not gonna lie, at this point I was kind of like, I've put so much work already into sanding off this door, getting all the paint off, and now it's kind of looking shit already. But the way I found luckily to sort of rectify that was uh, to do a bit of a like acrylic wash over all of it. So I just mixed those colors, like orange, yellow, red with a lot of water did a wash over, took it back off and went into all the creases and since I wanted to have the main lighting in the scene be a campfire anyway, that kind of worked quite well and uh, I think brought it back a little bit. From there on the next step was to transfer the sketch from my iPad onto the door and I used uh, just a grid to do that. You've seen me use other techniques before like for example in this video where I'm painting a skateboard I used a doodle grid. A projector would have been ideal but uh, we don't have any like plugs down there in the backyard so uh, a grid had to do and to be honest it worked quite well. If you have no idea how this works essentially I just put the same sort of size grid over my original sketch and over the door 
and then use where the lines, so for example, if I say I'm painting uh, a window on the wall here and where the lines of the window intersect the lines of the grid, I can sort of use that as a reference as to where to place everything. Yeah, it kind of comes together from there on. The next step was with this black Posca pen. I just went over everything again and uh, not as like final outlines that are going to be visible in the final product, but more as a, yeah, another sketch and guide. Then I washed away all the uh, chalk from, from my initial sketch and went straight into painting. I started with the biggest areas, which was the wall of the building and the tree, painted those in. For a lot of the, like, the, the wall on the left side, sort of, and the ground, I didn't use any paint because the, the initial gradient uh, would be enough. And then from there, it was just tediously filling out all the blocks of colors, the shirt, the trousers, all the different characters um, with acrylic paint, essentially. Painting this mural was really an experience, like I said, that I've never uh, had before. And as with everything, it came with challenges that I didn't expect it would come with. There are definitely places where I cut corners, where it was taking too long, the light was fading, I wanted to get something done quickly. Uh, I mean, I, I think I spent three days in total painting the thing, three days taking the original paint off, maybe a day spraying it and doing the outline or something, plus the initial design uh, and gathering ideas. So it was a long, long progress and I was working uh, quite long shifts in between as well. So this was a quite a stressful time. Um, but uh, it was so rewarding, so much fun. I also had my flatmate there with me um, for most of it, which was something I'd never actually had before. Usually when I do my art projects, I just sit in my room by myself or sit outside by myself, usually with an audio book or music or a podcast or something to listen to. And here, uh, yeah, I had people there with me, which was uh, definitely an experience that I've never had before and which I quite enjoyed actually. Another problem that I've never had before that I ran into with this was that, was that I painted on a vertical um, surface rather than a horizontal one and that led to a lot of moments of paint sort of running down and me having to catch it and some streaks uh, stayed on the final painting. Whatever, it is what it is. It speaks of the authenticity of it all. And another problem that I ran into also, as I said before, the wood had gotten quite like dried and, and rotten at the bottom of it and that gave for a quite a difficult surface to paint on as well as as I couldn't get like all the paint as opaque and, and all the creases down there so you can see that the quality of the painting on the top half is quite a lot better than at the bottom half but again that's just what we're working with and I think it turned out quite good in the end anyway. One of the last details I added in was sort of giving everything a yellow glow um, that came from the fireplace, which I think brought everything together quite well. And uh, yeah, then I just added a couple of details with a white Posca marker and then just took the black Posca marker again and reinforced some lines that I had, I had drawn before. And with that, the mural was done. It was a long process, and I don't know if I'd do one uh, too quickly again. Would never say no to an opportunity in which somebody was like, please paint this wall. But also, it is a lot more work <laughs> than 
uh, you think uh, is quite frustrating at times. And I'm definitely very happy to have gotten this experience of painting a mural and I'm quite happy with the result as well. So uh, without any further ado, actually there will be a bit of ado before because I'll just ask you to leave a like and subscribe to this video and leave a comment about anything that you would like to say. But now without any further ado, um, I'm just going to show you the finished result. So here's the mural I painted. Right guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this uh, video and the outcome as well. And uh, with that, please click here for a video you might be interested in and a playlist you might like right here. And if you haven't subscribed already, then um, there's gonna be an option to right there. Um, so while you click on something, I'm just gonna sit here in the frame. And um, yes, I guess I'll see you in the next video afterwards then.